All right, folks, Mr. Max. So the Ford Edge, I started working on it, but I didn't do, I didn't record while I was doing that. You know, I had to move away, walk around back and forth to pick whatever tool I needed to do the repair. So let me show you guys where I reach. Okay, you know, this thing was, was down from the other video I showed about my next project and this is uh this was down so I got it looking like this so I'll do a little bit of bondo work to straighten that out make it look nice put the primer put the same color back on you know and some silver on the outside here so the door so I have a new fender So there was damage on the door. So I popped that out a little bit. So I have to put the fender on to make sure this is not in or I have to bring it back out the edge. All right, so that's what I'm uh, working on now. So now this here, there is a crease going like that a crease a dent so when you feel like this you could feel it so now i'm gonna weld some studs weld some studs here and bring that back out all right and i have this here i gotta do this repair also this one here so i'm gonna do the same grind this off get rid of the paint so i could weld those studs and bring that back out but I'm gonna have to remove the bumper so I could do the work uh, fast you know tape this all right so that's that and uh, so we have the passenger front door had a ding here I already cleaned that up but I need to do a little more by hand so I could weld the stud there pop that out and here it's out so i have to tap that in all right so that's it and then we have some little dings here it's almost like hail damage with you know there is a little one here and a little one here so things like that you don't have to to repair that you don't need to go grind uh, do a big thing about it. you know you just give it a, a scuff with a 180 grit sandpaper by hand or with the most likely by hand because you put the da on this the da that thing might the panels are not strong like uh, back in the days because of the 60s the 70s the steel was stronger or thicker today's cars they can't handle much uh you put the sanding machine on the on the panels it it, it comes out wavy so things like this you do by hand so i'm going to show you my my how i take care of these uh, little things this one here all right so i'm gonna i have to do the repair on the hood So I'm going to do that now. All right, this one I'll record. All right, so I have to weld this, weld that back. I put the fender on and check the door. Make sure that the edge, the edge is right. All right, so let me hook this thing up and I'll show the repair of the hood. Since the hood is steel, it's easier to mess with than um, than aluminum. Aluminum is kind of you hit aluminum with the hammer, and the hammer will bounce back. But steel, when you hit, the steel moves, you know. But uh, aluminum, you bang that bastard, but it it looks like it won't. It doesn't want to come out. So, anyway. 
this is steel i'm glad it's steel so it's easier to mess with okay so stay tuned all right so i have this hammer i'm gonna use this to bang that out Today is a hot day, so I'm sweating a lot today. All right, let's keep, let's go. All right, so now I'm going to switch to a smaller hammer and I have a dolly. The dolly is going to be behind here. All right, so I'm going to tap this from here. So I'm going to switch to another dolly. This one here. All right, so that's going to go. See, it has the curve. And this is the curve. I think that's it. Let's see here. The dolly is actually to help uh, so you could get the contour back to what it should be. So now, I should put the headlight on to uh, check this thing out, but I don't think I need to do that. Okay, let me come down with this. Alright, so you could see... Um, this crease here, that means hair is in. So I gotta bring that out a little bit to take care of this crease. All right, let me uh, do that now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the dolly to do that trick. The dolly. Uh, I'm gonna use this hammer. The dolly is gonna. I'm gonna push. You know, push out with the dolly. You know, and then I will hit on this. That would. This is gonna come out, and this will go in by holding, pressing the dolly against this this lip. All right. Alright, 
Absolut. That's good. There is a little bent here, but the bondo will take care of that. So now I'm gonna put the fender on to check to check that. Alright. Uh, I raised the hood. So now I'm gonna put the fender on. The weather's really hot today. Gotta go on the bottom there. Here a little bit out. So what I do to uh, help me with that? Wherever I see that, I need to tap. Okay, let's see here. That's good. So I, what I do? I put this tape here. to tell me where I need to bring up, what I need to bring up. So it's between here and here. So when I open the door, I will see the tape and know that I got a hit between here to bring that up. And now I have an issue here. Handle is out here. So, so before I do anything to the fender, I mean there is a screw that is on the inside, so I gotta push that in and this will go in. But before I do anything, let me make sure that uh, this does not have to come out.
Yeah. So here yeah, is okay. And this is out. So I could tap the fender to match this one. You know, I tap this, and it will match this. But I'm gonna open the door, take a look inside if I'm seeing anything that will see what's going on in there. Alright. So oh, I have to check the fender first and the hood. Let's see. I think everything should be good. Alright. As I tighten that, push that down a little bit. So everything here is good. So let me do that one. Yeah, I'll tap this one in. Let me look on the inside first. Okay, so so you see the space the space here need to open up a little more like the bottom it's a little tight here so I'm gonna tap that so I'm gonna mess with the hinge now with that for that so what I do let me get my two. I got this. The hammer. And this tool. This is iron bar that I made years ago. So I use this and I tap the hinge. I will tap the hinge going that way. Going that way. All right. see what happened I'll give it one more Okay, we got some room there now. Yeah, they're much better now. The space between the doors is not that big. Let's see here. Yeah, that should be it. The dust is creating an illusion here with the eye. It tricks with it. Okay, so now you can see the gap better. All right, so that's that. So now I'm going to do this one. The hood, the fender, is higher than the the door. So what I'll do, I'm going to give it a little tap because the fender has quite a few things on the edge. So that probably is keeping it out. Okay, so I will use this to do that. I have the wood uh, block and a sledgehammer and you just give it a little tap.
Okay, it's getting there already. Give it a little more. So I gotta bring that out. This here I should tap in. So I use this. sometimes if I don't want to hit the fender then I would hit I will do use a chisel and tap on the chisel All right. so I don't make a mistake I hit the fender because I already have this mark from grinding here so I don't need I don't need actual That's there. Tap it a little more here. So let me tap this one out. So these two tapes, I could see them from the inside. Hit with a. I don't need a heavy hammer for this. Just use this, and uh, I use this wood to get in between the. Because this, wherever I'm gonna, I gotta have to hit. This is too thick, so I'm gonna use this. This is thinner, so it will be able to go where I want it to go. Okay, so uh, I have to hit that in a little bit now. I'm going to use this. There are times when I use this tool, my magic tool, to tap on uh, areas that don't need to, uh, areas that don't, I don't have to hit. You see, this is light. So when I tap with this, it just penetrates the area that I want to go down or go in. apply the bondo I'm gonna this is the side that I use and I will go up like this uh, and I will go up because the door has like a curve so I'm gonna have to take the fender off to do that so I don't put too much uh, sanding on the bumper I mean the fender All right. So that's it for this one here. Yeah, so that's it for here. The fender, everything should be right once I tighten that. 
the gap between uh, would be right. And uh, so now I'm going to do the Got a spot weld this here. Alright, so let me get the welder and So that's one thing uh, with this, the, mat, the steel will get hot and it will go out of shape, it might sink, most, like, most of the time it will go sink, so uh, it's kind of tricky with this thing here, but anyway, let's continue. Sometimes it might be easier to just, since the, the crease is not that deep, it's easier to just do bondo. So you don't have to deal with this, because uh, the, the, the problem is getting bigger by using this because of the heat from uh, this. It creates a lot of heat. So right now the, the panel got pushed that uh, well from the heat got further in anyway I'm gonna get it back on so I'm gonna leave this here alone I'm gonna go grab the studs because the panels are not that strong all right so let me do this So that's good. Then I'll grind that off and I'm gonna move on, move to this here. So this one here I'm gonna grind that and do the same. Taping that so dust don't go in, uh, go down to mess with the gas. All right, so let me grind this now.
have it cleaned yet.
I'm gonna take the bumper off. All right, so I'm gonna go on to this side here. I have to do the same. Well, the the weld here. That out. So let me do that. Okay, um, so I'm done with this uh, for now, with recording, so I have to sand and uh, put the body filler, so so I'm going to take the fender off, grind this, start put some body filler on that. I gotta grind those studs off. Once I do that, this one here, I grind the studs, but I'm gonna have to take the bumper off to do this thing properly. Because I won't be able to work good with that. Then I gotta get this bumper out of the way. All right, so, uh, and maybe the tail light. Uh, let's see how, how easy that is to, to, to take out. All right, so uh, that's that will be it for this one. Uh, all right, and uh, maybe when I'm doing the sanding, I will show that. Okay. All right, folks. So uh, that's another. Um, so that's it, and I'm going to see you guys for the next one. All right, stay tuned and uh, subscribe. Uh, press the bell and share. All right. Take care.